Oh wow. I have a thank you to give up. Oh wait, hello folks. Welcome back for I'm the one, the only. I'm Hobo Tom and cheers to everyone this Lent. A little thing of nice lemon iced tea. My little treat instead of soda or other evil processed drinks. And I'm saying that stuff for my treat after Lent. I'm not here to talk about that stuff. There's enough going on in the world where you don't have to hear my jibba jabba. But again, you might want to hear the jibber jabber of one K Hart. Thank you very much, sir. You know what? I'm going to give you a special one. You know that Jordan Grace has a back. Oh my God. Becky, look at her back. I like big butts and I cannot lie. And again, if you want to be like K Hart or any of the others that I give shout outs to, again, find me on Discord. Chat me up, send a comment, like, dislike, I don't know. Say you want more cooking shows. Who knows? That's not going to ha <clears throat> happen for a while. I think the thing I'm going to have, I think for my after Lent Easter dinner, is going to be a barbecue. Brisket and bacon with melted cheddar cheese, sub sweet potato fries. That sounds good. Oh, steakhouse style, so that means I have to put onion rings on top of it too. Crispy onion rings make everything taste better. And I might show you how to make that video later. Who knows? Um, but yeah, again, you're not tuned in for a cooking show yet. I will show, I, I will probably show next week, I'll make a special video next week, it'll be St. Patrick's Day, I make my Kiss Me I'm Irish Green Pizza, it's actually really good, but yeah, that's a whole other thing. So I'm here to talk about some NXT in a while, we just start off, we go into the Dusty Rhodes Classic, we have Core Jade and Raquel Gonzalez taking on Wendy Chu and Dakota Kai. Oh, that onesie kills it. Wait, Wendy put on, like, she got chunky all of a sudden. Either that, or that onesie makes her look absolutely terrible. But yeah, Wendy knows how to do quick takedowns, though. And she is, like Kevin Owens, a master of the headlock. Or like Delirious, for Delirious is a true master of the headlock. So you know, with Delirious wrestling, the match doesn't start until there's a headbutt to the wrist. So yeah, but she does some, uh, Wendy Chu does some quick takedowns, uh, plays like peekaboo with Cora Jade. That was kind of weird. In the, into the headlock, well, Kelly Gonzalez comes in, just airplane spins her, and then just dumps her down. <laughs> I don't know if that was just from her being dizzy, or supposed to like toss her up, but yeah. Uh, Dakota Sky's kicks, wow, they're vicious. Yeah, the kicks to the core of Jade's gut. Uh, Wendy, again, she is a true... Uh, she might surpass Delirious. And Kevin Owens is the master of the headlock. I don't know. Um, then she gets picked up again by Raquel Gonzalez. And her, oh, no. They, they do a pin attempt, and it's like a rolling pin attempt. It's so around and around and around they go. Where they stop, nobody knows. I don't think they know. And all of a sudden, Toxic Attraction left the suite because up in the suite box, they had a, a spread eagle, Kiki Allen. I don't even know what her partner's name is. Because I just know Gigi Allen sits there with her legs wide open, and you're just like, wow. It's like, if you didn't have dark clothes on and it wasn't a little darker, we would see all of Gigi Allen, which might not be a bad thing. Yeah, but, um, oh, man, I forget who the other one is. I know it's Mandy Rose is the leader of them. <laughs> that tells you how much I watch NXT, I guess. But yeah. Um, so Toxic Attraction come out. They, they jump Raquel, Raquel Gonzalez. Uh, so Cora Jade is effectively doing this all by herself. She has a great running sunset flip. Even without the ropes. Hits the running knees. Kind of windy, though. They do the double team. They do the pickup drop thing. Kai hits a scorpion kick. And no, 
that was actually pretty cool. Done like a sunset code breaker. Only way I can describe it because he literally like just jumps on the person's back, flips over, and they land on her knees. Um, they do the, I, I guess what's called the, the choo-choo train. Or, uh... Forget what Dakota Kai does, but, but Wendy does that like kind of top rope Vader bomb thing. And I think she landed funny because she is clutching her ribs like, like she landed where she wasn't supposed to. You know what? I was shocked. I had no idea they were going to have these two actually win and go into the Dusty Cup final. I guess that might happen. I don't know if that's happening next week or if that's going to happen for WrestleMania. Like they I can't stand these two-day wrestling events. And by two-day wrestling events, let me clarify that. New Japan Day 1, uh, Wrestle Kingdom 1, 2, and 3. Or you have WrestleMania 1 and 2. I just want, I just can't wait until... Oh, I found out the date. Oh, wait, uh, I'll mention that shortly. But yeah, um, this match, I was shocked. Cheeseburger match. Again, I just can't understand the ugliness of that outfit. But yeah, um, October 15th. Be on my channel, or, or be a bush hippie, because that is the day of AAA Triple Mania, the Triple Mania 30, and it's going to be hosted by this guy, assuming they don't take me off for pirating. But yeah, the one, the only hobo Tom's going to have Triple Mania, and that's going to be a super view party, I'm going to bust out the taco buffet again, uh, a couple of different appetizers, maybe some more this time. You know, I have my three meats, all the trimmings for tacos, chips, salsa, some burritos, some appetizers, again, mozzarella sticks, jalapeno poppers, taquitos, um, what else? Oh, booze filled desserts, and booze and open bar and yeah, Mexican beer, open bar. I think we have to have some Coronas this time for sure. I'll tell you about that other one. Modelo's good. Or maybe if I can find Dos Equis and Cans. Again, tequila and rum bar, all the good stuff. Again, check out the video I did. I forget if I showed you, or a couple of videos around that time I did show people what I had for my triple mania party to me that's the only event in town uh, so the next match we had Tiffany ooh all that good lemon tea uh, we had Tiffany Stratton taking it on I don't know F Felon Healy Henley this was like the jobber. She had the jobber's entrance, but Henley, I'll tell you what, she has a drop kick. Uh, Tiff Stratton only did a front face like Henley. She had a one chop, uh, one kick. I'll tell you what. Oh, oh the one like looked absolutely terrible though. Uh, Stratton did a slow and drop. Henley hit the shiny wizard though. After like a distraction. Again, um. And there was a cheap shot from Saray that, of course, caused that. But I'll tell you what, they had, um, Felon Henley. She won. <laughs> I was shocked. And then Briggs and Jensen, they were trying to hit on her. And I'm like, whoa. Like, they celebrated with her. They picked her up on, on their shoulders. Impressive. Those who might get laid yet. God knows they're not gonna they're not gonna get laid hitting on lesbians. Yeah. Um, I, I was shocked. Cause generally they have like the newcomer win, but I guess she's in the program now with Saray because Saray's like anime schoolgirl. Um, I don't know what the deal with that is. But yeah, um, I'll tell you what. I was shocked. I like being shocked. I like things not being predictable. Cheeseburger match. Cheeseburger 
Then we had a little thing from Chase University called the one guy loser through the basketball. I just said, probably deserved it. There was a barbershop talk with Carmelo Hayes, whatever. A Lash Legend with Nikita Lyons. <laughs> People still can't get over the split leg drop. Then there was Imperium. Imperium. Yes. And uh, MSK little thing. I forget who won that anyway. No. Oh, yeah, that's why. So, yeah. So then the next match was L.A. Knight. Eli Drake taking on Grice and Walla. Oh, yeah, but before that, Briggs and Jensen's call it Legado del Fantasma saying, hey, you guys made this parking lot unsafe. <laughs> kind of the truth. But, yeah, we had L.A. Knight taking on Grace and Walla in the last man standing match. Um, L.A. Knight jumps. Waller, this is... Oh. They have to do something with L.A. Knight on the main roster. Like, he has to hold a title somewhere. He has to do something impressive. I mean, just... And he talks to the crowd. He's so good at what he does. I mean, he goes to every side, so everyone gets to see a, a little bit of the action. It's the same action. But everyone gets to see, oh, look at this. This is what he's doing. <sighs> Eli Drake's so good. Uh, then becomes a brawl. Ellie Knight stomps on Grayson Waller, which is good. Uh, Waller did drop Ellie Knight onto the top rope. Then he does some Mutai knees, which actually look really impressive. He hits like some flying somersault stunner. Ellie Knight, though, he had such a. He jumped up. He literally, in one motion, jumped up on the top rope and hit such a fast superplex. Whoa. Uh, then he went for the BFT, but Waller got out of the ring. Outside of the ring, Waller found the trash can. Very typical stuff. <laughs> then they go fight up in the penthouse. LA Knight shoves the Waller down. He gets caught by his bodyguard. Which is, I guess, smart. Cause that's only, I guess that guy's Veer. But in NXT, he's called something else. Veer's, I don't know, he's like done with the main roster. Who knows? Again, L L Eli Drake has such good, crisp wrestling moves. Uh, and that table that Grayson Waller went through, ex expl uh, actually the table that Ellie Knight went through exploded. That looked great. Then there was like the murder spot where... Ellie Knight put the trash can on top of the head of Grayson Waller. He just proceeded to pummel it with chairs. And he wasn't done with the chair. Then he proceeded to beat the bodyguard with the chairs. Uh, however, Waller produced a slapjack. Um, oh, yeah, this is when he sent him through the table. Again, that table exploded. Waller literally climbs up his bodyguard. He is the last man standing. Even though I don't like Grayson Waller, this was one heck of a match. This, folks, was a surf and turf match. Uh, what do we have next? Steiner, Rex Steiner was talking. I, I refuse to call him Braun Breaker. That's ridiculous. Rex Steiner. Just call him Steiner. Do you know how many people would recognize the Steiner name? Dude, all because Scotty said he would beat up Vince McMahon and bust him open during a WrestleMania event. Yeah, Scotty's probably mellowed out in his old age. One day, the Steiners will get into the WWE Hall of Fame. Mark my words on that. Undertaker's going in. Vader's going in. Eventually, they have to put the Steiners in there. But yeah, the Steiner, uh, Steiner was talking. And then Tony D'Angelo was talking. Uh, whatever. That was the second Dusty Rhodes match. It was Kai Leirai and Io Shirai taking on Casey. Taking on the two lesbians, Casey Catanzaro. Uh, Caden Catanzaro and Casey Carter. Also known as Lana Lane because she actually signed up there on the door of wrestling. Yeah, she is there. She's just there as Lacey Lane. There she is, right next to you. I knew she was there. 
Baba Tunde. I also have Indy Hartwell's signature too. Fanny Birch Santana Garrett. My parents said she looks so cute. Was that your date? I'm like, I wish. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't be working where I was if Santana Garrett was my date. Whatever Santana Garrett wa wants, I would try to give her. At least not monetarily, though. Yeah, she just wants some guy to take her on Daytona Beach. I'm the man. She needs a back rub. I'm the man. She wants to buy me a boat so I can take her out fishing on the ocean. I'm the man. But yeah. Now let's get back to this match. Uh, Kaylee Ray just, she has the chops. Those are great. Casey and Kane, you know what? I won't take anything away from them. They do great double teamwork. They're so fast, so flippy. Um, then they start doing their dives. Kane does like a flippy X-Factor thing. I don't even know the human body, even if it is a woman, could actually bend and fly in those directions. In the... Uh, Io Shirai is such an amazing missile dropkick. Again, so crisp. Uh, then it became a spot fest. Casey and Kaden tried to do their moves, but that wasn't happening. We had the uh, Kaylee Ray bomb, the, the, the KRL bomb, and then the moonsault. Io Shirai and Kaylee Ray get to go on to face Wendy Choo Choo and Dakota Kai. I'll tell you what, if Kaylee Ray and Io Shirai doesn't win, NXC, the NXT Universe might riot. Yeah, this was a solid good match, though. I can't complain about any of this stuff. Cheeseburger match. Then we had Persia and Indy Hartwell backstage. Yeah, Persia has her new, new love interest, Duke Hudson. Duke can do things to her that Indy just couldn't. Indy's still heartbroken and, I guess, about her husband, Dexter Loomis. Again, NXT wrestling weddings never, ever work out. Uh, that was Tristan interruption doing something. I don't even care. Then we had Imperium! Taking on MSK. This was a great technical match. This is a great con. This is that really good concert contrast of styles where you have a really huge technical match. And then you have like the free flowing flippy stuff with MSK. And great technical start. MSK is so fast. They have, they have such amazing chain wrestling because it's fast, but you're, but you're like, well, I can't. You're like, what did he do? Like, I can't believe he did that. It's like, well, what did you do? I missed it. Again, they do it at a fast enough pace, but it's not too fast where you miss it. And it's not slow enough where you're like, okay, this is dragging on. Or it's super obvious. So well paced. I mean, Marcel Martel and his chops. Nine! Ten! Wow, that's old. But yeah, that's when Marcel Martel had a feud with Ty Dillinger. Wow, that was that seems like it was so long ago. Uh, Fabian Eggner, he's just strong. He does the big body slam. Again, such it was such a good match until the Creed brothers came in. Cause they want to know who jumped them. What I saw was really good though. So it was a dusty finish, baby. <laughs> Nobody wins. It's a dusty old cheese burger. And it was Draco and Harlan. Dude, Harlan, he's growing on me. So is What's-His-Face. Then uh, Zion, whatever his name is, saves that Draco. You don't need them. Harlan and What's-His-Face are growing on me, though. I thought it was stupid and goofy. Now I like it. That's good. NXT's doing something right. Uh, then um, the main event, we had Dolph Ziggler. Taking on t the psycho killer Tommaso Ciampa. Taking on Rex Braun Breaker Steiner. Wow. They just start brawling. It doesn't matter. Um, just hard hitting. I don't think... I know Tommaso Ciampa, I don't think, likes Dolph Ziggler. And I think Rex Steiner just picked up the, his, his papa's 
stiffness. So again, they go in the ring hard hitting. Dolph eventually gets gets cut out. He's an inverted atomic drop. He, he's not there for a while. Rex popped up to Masa Champa and tossed him into Dolph. Jeez, that's awesome. Dolph, um, then we had like a unique spot where uh, Rex Steiner put the Steiner recliner on. And then Braun Breaker came up behind and put the sleeper on him. And there were some ouch spots. I'll tell you what. They just like to work snug. Tommaso Ciampa doesn't care that he has a bad neck. Rex Steiner's too young to care. And Dolph Ziggler says, eh, I've done it all before. Uh, they got beat up because Ciampa had a big bruise on his head. Dolph eventually got a sizable bruise on his arm. Again, working stiff and snug. That's the Steiner way. Uh, Rex Steiner. Oh, he... He has a pretty spear. He has that near no jackhammer needed spear. Onto Dolph. Few, he makes it look... Vi he, like, spears himself. He just doesn't pick him up in, like, a double. Like, he goes right for the ribs. So great. Gorilla press slam. Uh, Rude shows up. He pulls out Rex Steiner. Dolph hits a super kick on Tomasa Ciampa. Dolph Ziggler wins the NXT belt. Shocking. Another surf and turf match, though. And wow. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Also, let's see here. I can get this stuff in since it's the end of the show. A um, little recap from last week. Jeez, I sucked with my predictions. I was everybody about other stuff. So, taking a look at Impact Sacrifice. Oh, you know what? I was in the... I got... I got... From what I predicted, I got five out of nine, nine right. I knew Moose would win. I knew Alex Shell. I knew... Um, not Alex Shelley. Jay White would win. I predicted Eddie Edwards would defeat Rhino. Jonah defeated PCO. The Bullet Club lost to Violent by Design. Inspiration were defeated by the influence. Che Miguel retained his belt. I think the Kingdom won. Tasha Seals won. That was a bad match. I think Lady Frost won. So yeah, overall, I was in the head of one Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. Then we get to AEW, the Sunday night, because I had to work that night. Not much longer. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, not much longer, I think. Um, AEW has five out of the eight matches that I had. Um, I, knew, I knew Adam Page was going to win. Hangman and Page won. CM Punk won. I had Bray Wyatt coming in. I didn't even watch until like the last minute. I'm like, man, Bray Wyatt's not there, man. But we need to eat our worlds, man. So yeah, he got that one wrong. Wardlow won. That was good. I figured Red Dragon would win, but they didn't. So yeah, I only have two matches right so far. Because Jurassic is best retained. Brian Danielson won. Oh, no, wait. Who won that? John Moxley won. No. I honestly barely won that match now. I knew Eddie Kingston was going to win. Jade Cargill retained her belt. Oh, I'll tell you what. That, that smooch. Yeah. Jade Cargill, if you want to give anyone a smooch, this guy needs it. She, she's a Brazilian. She is, unless they're doing a, a threesome with Sammy. Sammy, you bastard. But, yeah. like That was like a full-blown... Uh, like tongue in literally tongue inside our cheeks playing tonsil hockey yeah listen Jay Cargo was licking the ton of one Ty Conti she's either probing to see hey I see you I see your Brazilian booty every day and I want a piece of it I don't know yeah, that was... I saw that, I'm like, whoa! 
This is fun. I'm glad my nephews aren't watching this. If I didn't have a watch party for this show, I'd have to explain this to my nieces and nephews. And and the one amazingly gorgeous eyed woman who I'm trying to see. But yeah, I'd have to explain that. I'm like, no, no, this isn't that kind of show. This is this is this is pro, pro wrestling. Yeah. Tell you what though. That was a kiss with a tongue. Slipper the tongue, Jade. Just ne just next time, just like stick your hands down her lack of panties, I guess. But yeah, less than panties, because she's Brazilian. And then Darby Allen, Sammy Guevara, and Sting, even after trying to kill themselves, won. You know what? I broke. I I did better than half. I'm still in the head of one Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. So as you can tell by this week, all my videos are late. Tomorrow I should be getting up my Impact video. Next week is going to be a lot more chaotic because I'm working both. I'm literally working every day except for Sunday and Saturday. I might even be working Saturday. I have to figure that out. So yeah, the videos are going to be catch as catch can. But I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I think for sure I'll be doing one Tuesday. Maybe, I don't know, Thursday, maybe Friday.